I'm glad you're with me on TCM. I'm Alicia Malone. Well, we're just a few weeks away from the official start of fall, my favorite season, but I know for many of you, you're already mourning the end of summer. So let's take you back to the sun with a seminal teen film from 1960. It's Where the Boys Are, directed by Henry Levin. This film still packs a punch all these years later, though it is a tamed version of the original book by Glendon Swarthout. George Wells adapted the script, which follows a group of four college girls, each eager to escape the cold Midwest, who travel to Florida for some spring break fun in the sun. And while that sounds like the setup for one of those popular 1960s teen beach party films, it's actually quite an interesting and occasionally brutal look at young women trying to navigate men and sex. Leading the cast is Dolores Hart, who starred in a few Elvis Presley movies, famously becoming Elvis's first on-screen kiss. And she has an interesting personal story because not long after making this film, Hart shocked Hollywood when she announced she was leaving to become a nun, Mother Dolores. But here she's alongside several other young stars and actors who are about to become big stars. There's Yvette Mimieu, George Hamilton, Jim Hutton, father of actor Timothy Hutton, and making their film debuts, Paula Prentice and Connie Francis. Connie Francis was already a popular singer, but this was her big screen acting debut. And you'll also hear her sing the hit title song written by Neil Sedaka and Howard Greenfield. For Paula Prentice, this was her first film of any kind. She was 22 at the time and very tall at 5 foot 10. Jim Hutton was also very tall, 6 foot 5, so they were paired together. And with their easy chemistry, MGM teamed Prentice and Hutton again for several more comedies over the next few years. All right, get out your swimsuits and let's head to the beach circa 1960 with Where the Boys Are.